The past is a dead thing with a lingering, confused half-life in the present, like these poor zombies. The future ends catastrophically, and what's supposed to be in the middle probably doesn't even exist. Time. Only real terrorist in town. Hey everybody, thank you for watching Leaf by Leaf. Today we're talking about this tiny little book put out by Isolari. They are a subscription-based service where you sign up and every other month they send you a new island book. They seek to resurrect the Renaissance literary genre called the island book. And they're bringing together unique views of the world and collaborations. In this one, it's a collaboration between writer Robert Coover and artist Art Spiegelman. Of course, most people are familiar with Coover's bigger books, his more hard-hitting satires and scathing denunciations of some of our woeful history in America and religious institutions, the public burning is probably his most known work, but then the, the two books about the Brunists and his latest here is totally different from anything else he's done. We have a short, tiny, tiny little satire that puts an everyman who goes from being a derelict to a street cop in the not so distant future. I find it interesting that during the lockdown, both Ricky Ducournay and Robert Coover have come out with these little sci-fi bent books. The drawings by Art Spiegelman are a treat. They match the story perfectly. They're the exact type of illustrations. Very cartoonish, very playful. And I will say that my writing project that I'm working on for this year that I said I'd give more information about as the details of the forthcoming book start to materialize. I will, however, let you in on the fact that Arch Spiegelman is also involved. This street cop finds himself in a world that he just simply does not understand. This is the most prevalent theme in the whole book, and it's one that I think many people can relate to. He's the last human cop within a force of robot cops, drones, surveillance droids, streets made of recyclable thermoplastics that can shift and change their shape and reorient into new grids. Neighborhoods and buildings can rise up and move to a different location. A lot of these quirks are because of the absolute obsession with anti-terrorist tactics. So the orientation of the grids of cities or of this city changes on a near daily basis and then the robot cops can download the map of the day. Our everyman human cop of course makes mention that he too would download this map of the day if he knew how or if he even cared to do it. He has a PDA, a personal data assistant named Electra that is very much like Alexa or Siri. There are delivery drones zipping around everywhere and kids chase after them with butterfly nets and try to capture them. There are predictive crime databases. You can even own your own pet zombie. There's even a direct link with a supplier of human remains so that you can keep your pet zombie fed these human remains come from the city, from unclaimed corpses. So, you know, he's having fun with imagining the world that is to come, and it's not so far off from the world we know today, and especially, you know, raised a pitch or two by satire. I like some of the terms that Coover comes up with for performance metrics. He calls them daily media judgments, which I think is much closer to the truth of now and how we evaluate one another. The tone and style, the voice of this work is very much a noir, a crime noir. It's got those short clipped sentences with these sort of deadpan and cold glances at everything that's going on. And it goes at breakneck speed. I mean, the book is already tiny and it's only 100 pages and includes beautiful illustrations and sometimes gonzo illustrations that will just have you laughing as you look around this sort of Bosch-like 
triptych or diptych, I guess here. But anyhow, all this stuff, all these hijinks and gags and everything lead up to a very satisfying moment in the book that really reminded me of the movie Office Space and the whole PC load letter printer error tyranny that ultimately leads to this scene where they get to destroy that printer off in a field. And it's just, it's such a satisfying moment and one that I think a lot of people will enjoy living vicariously through Coover's character. It's a fun story from Coover. It's a sharp-eyed and silver-tongued look at the world we continue to find ourselves progressing toward, and it is an artistic object thanks to the steady hand and cool eye of Art Spiegelman. You can really sense that the two of them just had a good time on this collaboration. So go to Isolari and check out these tiny little island books.